Hello, my name is Russell Singer with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will demonstrate how to configure the Avaya Aura Conferencing 7.x elements in Avaya Aura System Manager 6.2. In order to add conferencing elements for Aura Conferencing 7.0 to the Avaya Aura System Manager 6.2, you do need to be logged in to the System Manager 6.2 interface for administration, as you see I am here. And from this screen, you're going to first go under the Elements menu, which is in the middle there, and you're going to select the Inventory option that's listed under that menu. From the Inventory screen, you'll want to select the Manage Elements option. That's the very first one list in the list there. And from the Manage Elements screen, you'll want to select the New button, which is listed up near the top of the window. This will allow you to add a new element to the System Manager 6.2. Now, when adding a new element for Aura Conferencing 7.x, you do want to select Conferencing as the element type. And we're actually going to be adding two unique elements here for Aura Conferencing 7. The first element we're going to add is for the provisioning manager in Aura Conferencing 7.0. And then the second element will be for what's known as the element manager. And anytime you configure a new Aura Conferencing 7 installation, you do need to add both of those elements. So I'm going to start by adding the provisioning manager as I mentioned previously. And I'll give it a name that's easy for me to recognize later as I go through and use that element in System Manager. So I'll name it AAC7 underscore sin underscore, underscore prov. The node needs to be the fully qualified domain name of the Avaya Aura conferencing element that you're adding. So in my case, I'm adding the provisioning manager, which means I need to use the fully qualified domain name for the provisioning manager here as the node. Now, that means that the fully qualified domain name for the provisioning manager does need to be resolvable by both the system manager as well as the local PC that you're doing this administration from, which is typically taken care of when that domain name or that fully qualified domain name is added to your IT network domain name system or DNS. Now the next thing we're going to do here is add an access point for this element. And for that, we need to expand the access point option. And then we're going to select the new button. From here, we're going to, again, give it a name that's easy to identify. So we're going to call this AAC7 underscore prov. It can be the same name as you entered previously above. That's fine as well. The access point type does need to be EMURL, as is shown there, which is the default. The protocol does need to be HTTPS which is secure HTTP. The host should again be the fully qualified domain name of the element that you're adding, which again should be in your uh, DNS environment. Now for the provisioning manager, the port needs to be 8443 and the path needs to be PROV forward slash SSO and the order should be zero. Now make sure to click the Save button, and that will add the access point to the list. Now you're ready to commit this new element, which you can do very simply by clicking the Commit button in the bottom right-hand corner of the window. Now you can see that it has added successfully this new conferencing element for the AAC7 Provisioning Manager. Now let's add an element for the AAC7 Element Manager. Again, we're going to select the New button, and for the element type, we'll choose conferencing once again. And we'll enter a name that's easy to identify that this is the AAC7 element manager. And the node here does need to be the fully qualified domain name of that element we're adding. So this is a little bit different than the previous domain name. This is the AAC7 element manager domain name or fully qualified domain name. And then the access point will select new again. And we'll give it a name that's easy to identify this, uh, this element by. So we'll say AAC7 underscore EM. The access point type, again, needs to be EMURL. The protocol, HTTPS. The host needs to be the fully qualified domain name of this AAC7 element out on the network. 
The port for the element manager needs to be 12121. Now that's because I'm adding the single and only element manager that I have in my AAC7 implementation. If I had a second or a backup element manager, the port there would need to be different. It would likely be 12122. But more details on the specific port to be used depending on which element you're adding can be found in the public documentation for AAC7, which is available on support.avaya.com. Now the path there needs to just simply be SSO, no forward slash, no other characters, simply SSO. The order would be zero again. And then don't forget to click the save button. And finally, you're ready to click commit. Now that you've added these elements, you should be able to click on the AAC7 provisioning element, for example, from this manage element screen. And assuming that all of your configuration and especially your host names are configured properly in DNS, you should be taken to the Avaya Aura Conferencing Provisioning Manager. Now you'll notice I received an error. This error indicates that the host name that I entered for the Avaya Aura Conferencing Provisioning Manager is not reachable from my PC. And this is because my PC cannot resolve that host name. My IT department did not correctly enter that host name and point it to the IP address of my Avaya or Conferencing Provisioning Manager in the DNS. So this is the failure, failure that I get when I try to access that element through System Manager. So I'm going to take just a few moments and call my IT representative and have them add that fully qualified domain name for my AAC7 Provisioning Manager to DNS. Now once they've done that, I can go back to my Manage Elements list there. And once again, I can click on the AAC7 Provisioning Manager. I do reach the Provisioning Client, which is exactly where I hope to be. So assuming you do see this screen, then you have successfully configured the conferencing elements on System Manager 6.2 for Avaya or Conferencing 7. Thank you for your time today. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.